So Trent Dilfer claims that Greg Williams stole his playbook. As part of that new ESPN 30 for 30, the bullies of Baltimore chronicling the 2000 Baltimore Ravens like historic defense. Trent Dilfer basically says that Greg Williams stole his playbook. After week 11, I go to Matt Cavan. I'm like, Matt, you're not going to believe this. And, and you know my personality. I don't lose stuff. I'm early. I stay late. Mm. I don't. Humble brag. I don't have my playbook. He's like, what? I'm like, I. I've looked everywhere. You know, we got those big duffel bags. I had the same routine every pregame. I mean, yeah. there's no way I, I lost this me. playbook. I'm like, it got stolen uh, in Tennessee. So we go out there for the playoff game. They're calling out everything. I mean, they know what we're doing before we're going to do it. And I never could really say anything about, it. you know, you don't play well. You don't want to use it as an excuse. Defense carries us once again. And I'm at an NFL function with Greg Williams probably 12 years ago. And he admits that he stole that sucker out of the locker room. And Classic. I mean, to this day, to this day, it pisses me off. I see Greg Williams somewhere, and he says, "Man, that must have been rough knowing that we had your playbook." So not only are you playing a great defense, but you're playing a great defense that has the answers to the test before the test. Classic Greg Williams, you know? That's what you get with a Greg who spells his name with three Gs. And look, I'm not here to dispute this story at all. In fact, I probably believe the fact that Greg Williams somehow stole playbooks out of the Ravens locker. I don't disagree with that at all. I don't think it's a breaking news that Greg Williams... Pretty sleazy guy. It's like, wow, I never would have expected such a thing from, let me check my notes here, Greg Williams. Oh, you mean Bounty Gate Greg? Never would have expected him to do something terrible. But what I'm wondering is, like, what's Trent Dilfer's excuse for the rest of his career playoff game? So Trent Dilfer's trying to say, like, oh, well, Tennessee knew all of our plays, and that's why I only completed 31% of my passes, going 5 of 16 for 117 yards and zero touchdowns in a playoff game. And getting sacked three times. Okay, yeah. Look, if a defense knows your plays, you'll probably put up those numbers. But literally every other game during that Super Bowl run, wasn't much better. In the wild card round, he went 9 of 14 for 130 yards and owned only one touchdown, getting sacked twice. In the AFC Championship, he went 9 of 18 for 190 yards with one touchdown and a pick, getting sacked twice. And then in the freaking Super Bowl, he went 12 of 25 for 153 yards and one touchdown, getting sacked three times. So um, did the Giants have your playbook there too? Like, it's just pretty convenient for Trent Dilfer to be like, well, they stole more playbook. That's why I played so bad. Dude, you played bad in every game. And I guess I'd go over the rest of his playoff stats, but he literally only played in two other playoff games in his entire career. So again, I'm not saying that Greg Williams didn't do this. He probably did. But Trent Dilfer trying to use that as an excuse as to why he played so terribly. Dude, you didn't play much better against the teams that didn't have your playbook. 